Hello all you lens creators and welcome to another Basics with Ben tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over how to add text to your projects. Whether you're adding text to your forehead or showing the custom date, the text component is a super useful tool to help make your lenses more unique. So let's get started by jumping into a new project. So the first thing we'll need to do is add a text object. We can add a regular text object or a screen text object. The screen text object would be attached to an orthographic camera, and it changes size based on the device's screen resolution. And this is useful if you want to pin 2D objects to the edge of the screen, or if you wanted to have your 2D object have fixed width or height. The regular text object can be added in the AR world view, so it could be attached to a 3D object. For this video, we'll use a screen text object. When we click on the text object, we'll see that we have a lot of different options to customize it in the inspector panel. The first thing we can do is change the text in the text box. Below the text area, you'll see the dynamic text. Now adding dynamic text lets us add custom text information such as the date, time, or the current weather depending on the user. If we type a really long string of text and we want it to all fit in one line, we can check size to fit, and the text will be shrunk until it fits. We can also change the font size, as well as add our own custom fonts. So Lens Studio supports the TTF and OTF formats when importing custom font files. The vertical and horizontal alignment will attach the text to the selected side, similar to how the text is aligned in Word documents. The horizontal and vertical overflow settings allow you to change how the text reacts to the screen edges. So if we wanted the text to remain the same size and stay on one line, we'd set the horizontal overflow to truncate. If we wanted the text to all fit on the screen, we would set the horizontal overflow to wrap. And shrink will keep the text on the same line and shrink it down to keep it all on screen. And then below we can change the fill settings. We can change the color or if we wanted we could fill the text with a texture that we select. We can also add an outline or drop shadow to our text as well as change the color or texture of each of them. We can even add a custom background behind the text if we really wanted to make it stand out more. Let's try animating and fading the text using the Tween Manager script. We'll first add the Tween Manager script in the Objects panel by clicking Add New, Helper Scripts, Tween Manager. Make sure to drag the Tween Manager script to the top of the scene so that it executes first, and then we'll delete the example tween so that we can add our own directly on the text object. We'll first add a Tween Alpha script and reverse the sliders so that the text fades out. And then we'll add a tween screen transform, which is what we'll need to use if we're adding a screen image or screen text. We can change the movement type to offset, which will move the text from whatever position it's currently at. We want the text to move up, so I'll add 10 to the Y offset. Adding text is a great way to make your lenses unique and give your users a way to add their own unique perspective on your lenses. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed that video or even learned something new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to learn more about Lens Studio, go check out their channel for even more tutorials.